Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Manmohit. In today's video, I would be showing you around how can you get a B-roll in Wondershare Filmora. Now, B-roll simply refers to that you want to have one video on top of another video and making sure that it blends so smoothly that you are explaining something, but you want to show something which is supporting what you are trying to say. So this is very common in many channels, I would say, and especially the other channel that I handle, which is the plants one. What I need to do is whenever the main person is speaking out the content, and if I want to show that particular part of the plant, that is when I put that particular part of the video on top of that speaking so that it's easier for the viewers and audience to connect with the content and understand what is being said in a more understanding manner. So without wasting any further ado, let's dive straight into the video and understand how it's done. So this is the interface of Wondershare Filmora. Now, first of all, what we need to do is let's say I chose one video that I want as my main video. So hold that video and drop it onto the timeline. Now, this is my main video. In case if you want to have another video on top of it, what we need to do is, as the name says, just hold that second video that you want as your B-roll and place it at the top of the other video. Now, right now, it might not look like what we are doing, but in some cases or in most of the cases, I would say your second video and also your first video, both of them would be having audio in them. Now, if you just paste your second video on top of the first video, the audios are not going to match each other. And obviously you will be listening to a lot of noise because it's two different audios just blended with each other. Now, in order to mute the audio for the second video, what we need to do is just double click on that video that you want to mute the audio for. And over here, you will have an audio section or other way is just hold that audio bar and then drop it onto the very bottom so that you mute your first video. And afterwards, if I just play out my first video, it looks something like this because it's my main video. But if you take your second video and you paste it on the top of your first video, obviously you would be looking at and you will be able to see the second video but you will be able to hear your first video, something like this. Now, few things that you can do with the second video when it's on the top of the first one. Let's say you want to transition the second video very smoothly on top of the second one. In order to do so, what we need to do is just double click on the video. And here you will see the option saying animation. Click on animation and you will see a lot of animations which are given by Wondershare Filmora. You can select any one out of it. Let's say if I chose fade in option, once you double click, it will just give you a preview of what will happen if you apply that effect. If you double click on it now, it will look something like this. So as you could see how smoothly that video goes on top of the other video. In order to apply that effect, what you need to do is just click on that and then click on OK option. And once you're done with that, once you try to play out the video, it will now look something like this. So as you could see how smoothly the other video went on top of the other one. So this is one thing that you can do. Another thing is, let's say you do not want the complete length of the second video on top of your first one. What you can do is you can obviously cut down the first video and delete the rest of the part so that you have that B-roll just for that particular part of the video. Now let's see how does the video look like. So obviously, since the length of the video is extremely short, this is how it would blend. But this is how a B-roll is done. And as I said at the beginning of the video, it is extremely crucial, especially in the videos where you are explaining something and you want to speak as well, but you also want to show what is being happening on the screen. So this is one thing that you can do. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and also you got what you were looking for. With that, I'm done with this video. If you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up related to this software and also many other softwares that I play around with, you guys would be the first one to be getting notified about them. And with that, you guys have a great day, stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video.